I'll go, I'll go back. So. Right. Fine. You, you can do the. Okay, I'm sure. Fine. <laughs> we go. I'm Lewis and I'm 13. I'm Kiln and I'm also 13. I'm Lewis and I'm 13. I'm Jess Reed, I'm 13 years old. I'm Amy, I'm 13 and I go to Winifred Albee Academy in Hull. In the tender programme that we've been doing for the past 10 weeks, we've been learning about domestic abuse and early warning signs of a, a bad relationship and how to like leave and what, um, what like, websites and people we can go to for help and support. Um, in these 10 weeks, we was uh, learning about abuse in relationships and then we was put into groups like put on plays or like poems to represent abuse in relationships. At the end of the project, we did like a performance for the rest of the year, and my group did a diary entry of someone being abused, and like the pressure to stay and isolation and uh, things like that. We practiced this play about um, abusive relationships and what can happen inside of them. It showed people like why people go back to the people that they was with, like like mainly because they didn't want to leave, they had nowhere to go, they were scared. Well, my group, we wrote a diary entry about the early warning signs and the pressures to stay and the excuses that people may make to make you stay. When we were performing it, we were all a bit nervous, I think, because there was a lot of people, but um, they were really respectful and quiet, so we could actually say things without feeling like we were going to be judged, and I think we taught them a lot. My diary entry was about how, um, about the early warning signs and how it all started and what happened further into the relationship and how the violence got included. I learned all the types of bullying that could go on in relationships and it's not just one form, it's like loads of different things, like it can start from different things and it can happen in different ways. My favourite bit of this project was the acting side of things and also learning about um, learning about how to spot domestic abuse in relationships.